Hey everyone, I'm Mindy from Cute Girls Hairstyles and today we're going to be filming the hairstyle for Merida. I bet you couldn't guess that based on my hair today, right? So Merida is one of my favorite Disney princesses because of her strength and her determination and her independence. And today I'm going to show you how to get her independent fiery red curls using straws. So to begin, we have started, you can see that I've already got her hair mostly done. But I took it and just sectioned off. You can see I have this bottom row. So I lifted everything else up and held it out of the way and then did the straw curls on this bottom row and then another row and another row and worked my way up the head. And I have it parted slightly to the left on her. I think Merida parted it on the right, but you can part wherever your hair naturally falls. So now let's explain the curls. I'm going to just take like a one inch, one inch section Until they feel about even and her hair is starting dry this is completely dry clean and this is just water we're just barely spritzing it so it's just barely barely damp because we don't want it to take forever and not end up drying then you're going to take the straw and these are just flexi straws you can see from that I bought at Target you can find them anywhere and I'm going to hold it right where that corner of the flexi straw is and I'm just gonna take the hair and begin wrapping it away from her face around the straw. And I'm gonna just wrap her hair all the way down the straw. And as I go down the straw, you can see with these two fingers, I'm kind of pinching the hair and just making sure that it stays tight so that we don't run out of straw before we run out of hair. When we get to the end, I'm just gonna hold the end with these fingers. I'm gonna pull this out as far as it'll go, stretch that up. And if it's loose off the head, you can just roll it down so it's tight. Now you're gonna just kind of bend your straw, take them and twist them, just like you would like if you were tying a shoelace. Keep that little endy out of the way and then just tighten it down. And this is just the straw we're tightening right here, not the hair. And it will just stay right in place. Ta-da! Let's do one more. So again, spritz it just so that it's barely damp. Take your straw. Again, I'm gonna twist away from her face. And I'm gonna just twist that hair. It's always that first one hardest with those little ends fly. Twist it all the way down the straw. Now I'll pull this out. Bend it up and tighten it down. Ta da! And these stay in really well. We put a bandana over her head the last time we did this, and she slept on it like this. And then the next morning, well, you're going to take it out. Today, we're actually going to pop her under my little um, dryer hood and dry her up, and then we'll show you guys how the curls have turned out. See you in a few! Okay, so we've let her sit under the dryer hood for just like 10-15 minutes, but if you don't have a hood, just let it air dry for a couple hours or sleep them overnight and either one's going to give you great curls. So now it's time to take them out. And you just do this by simply untying that little knot that you made. And then I just slide them right off. And you get these really, really bouncy ringlety curls. It's so cute. They literally just look like telephone cords. You want to help me pull them out? Okay, so when you have all your curls out, you don't get much curlier than that, that's for sure. So then I just take them with my fingers and just separate the curls. You don't want to brush them or it'll just poof the hair. Just separate it a little bit into smaller sections and you can see this is going to give us a really tight kind of crazy hair but that is totally classic Merida and if you have shorter hair my recommendation would be to look for some boba straws that are just a little bit thicker and are going to give you a little bit um, looser curl and won't pull out quite as much the fun thing about these curls is they make great second day hairstyles because the curl is so tight the first day that looks amazing the second day and the third day. And I'll show you in a minute what I mean by that.
Here you have our Merida bouncy, lovely, adorable curl. Shake your head and kind of mess it up like Merida wears her hair after riding a horse. And you can see it's just supposed to be kind of wild and unruly and just sort of free and just big and curly like it is right here. Now, this is, you know, of course, a very Merida look. If you wanted something that you could wear a little more every day, you can always pull this front part back up like this and it gives an adorable little curl. And I'll show you what the curls look like on day two as well. Come here. Okay, so this is the same curl only on day two and you can see how much more relaxed and soft it is. And we actually did, turn your head just a little bit, the waterfall twist on the front to just pull it out of her face and I think it's so cute on and her. Now that we have the amazing Merida curl, we need the color. And if you're brave enough, you can try some temporary color in their hair. These are just some temporary color sprays. I got an orange and a red because I wasn't sure which one would look better in the hair. Look, ta-da, we have Merida in all her red-headed glory. I love it. What do you think? Uh, I haven't seen it. Look. <laughs> <laughs> it looks great. And there you have Merida. Woo! All the curls, all the craziness, and a little bit of bouncy red hair. We will see you guys next time. See you later. Bye.